Theatre Arts, it's Kerry Lee here, just popping in to send you a little video today. Uh, some of you may know me or may remember me from being in Wind in the Willows with Brilliant and uh, playing the part of Badger. I'm currently in the UK performing in two shows this year, uh, Paddington at the Seaside and The Little Mermaid. Can't wait to get back on stage with those two shows. But for now, I'm going to do this little video for you today all about your heart and looking after your heart and what's important to me when I think about looking after my heart is doing the things that I love to do and filling my heart with laughter and joy and just being happy so we're going to look at some of my favorite things to do today I'm going to have a little game at the end for you to join in and then you can do that with your friends and your family um, afterwards so what we're going to do, one of my favourite things to do as an actor, as a performer, is um, accents. And uh, when you're performing in a character, sometimes they may the script may say you need to have an accent, or you might decide that as a character choice with that accent itself. Um, I personally love doing accents. Paddington at the seaside that I'm currently performing in my character has a Welsh accent um so I did a lot of listening to David um <laughs> and his Welsh accent no, no, I didn't. Uh, I'm originally from Wales so I kind of picked up I kind of do my mum's accent um so today we're going to look at accents and how we can do different ones but with anything, if you are going to be talking or singing or doing anything on stage, it's always the right thing to do is warm up your voice. So I'm just going to give you a couple of little techniques that I use to warm up your voice. Even if you're just talking, it's not necessarily these aren't singing techniques. You should always warm up your voice when you're singing. But also when you're acting, it's very important that you warm up your voice because you're going to be putting a lot of strain on your voice box. Um, you might have to shout, you might have to speak loudly, um, you might have to say some difficult lines. So I'm just going to give you a couple of little exercises that I do um, in order to get ready to be on stage. So uh, the first thing to look at is your breathing. And obviously it's very important that you concentrate on your breathing, that you're breathing in the right places. So a great little exercise for this is to take a very deep breath in and then just breathe out on an S sound. So you're just making an S sound. What I tend to do is try and do it for 10 seconds, then do it again. And every time you do it, try and last a little bit longer. So for example, you're gonna take a deep breath in and I'm gonna try and last for 10 seconds. So if everybody wants to do this with me, breathe, breathe in. So that was for 10 seconds. Hopefully you didn't run out of breath. Uh, you can practice that again and again. Then you raise that and then we'll go to 15 seconds. So we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to try and hold our um, S sound for 15 seconds. Here we go. Big deep breath in. So that was for 15 seconds. So then you can do it for 20 and you do longer and longer. And that way, that's making you learn how to control how much air you're letting out at any one time. Very, very, very similar to singing exercises you may have done. But when you're talking on stage, it's also very important to have breath control, to have a strong voice and to have got all of your muscles working and your breath control working. So those are some little exercises that you can try um, in your own time, trying to hold that, take a deep breath in and hold it for as long as you possibly can. Get a little stopwatch or or get someone to count for you if you've got somebody there that can help. And try and have a competition with each other. See how long you can hold that, making that sound before you run out of breath. So that's our first little breathing exercise. Next, we're going to look at uh, pronouncing correctly little um, words. So, for example, all your vowel sounds are very important. So A, E, I, O, U. And if you do these, make sure you're making your mouth as big as you can. Overemphasize that because uh, you're going to be using every muscle in your mouth and your tongue and all of those muscles. So we're going to go A, E, I, O, U. 
don't be afraid of how silly you look just make sure that you're using all of these muscles because it's really important when you're talking that you're your muscles otherwise you're going to sound a bit half asleep and you're blah, 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 blah. we don't want that so a e i o u lovely and also tongue twisters there's amazing tongue twisters out there um tongue twisters even uh see i need to do a warm-up too so we're going to do some tongue twisters these are some of my favorite ones the first one is mixed biscuits so you're going to say mixed biscuits 10 times so here we go i haven't done this in quite a while here we go so Mixed biscuits, 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 mixed biscuits. Brilliant. The next one is unique New York. Unique New York. So we're going to do that 10 times. Here we go. Unique New York, 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 unique New York. Number nine is a bit dodge. We got there. Uh, this one's another good one. Snap, crackle, pop. Ten times. Here we go. Snap, crackle, pop. Snap, crackle, pop. Snap, crackle, pop. Snap, crackle, pop. Snap. Crackle pop, snap, 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 crackle pop. So if you notice, I'm actually really making sure I'm moving my mouth because that's the only way you're going to do it. And this is the whole point. We're exercising all the muscles in your mouth. So uh, and one more, we're going to do one more, which is a, a, a really, really good one, which is she sees cheese. Oh, yes. So she sees cheese. Ten of them. Here we go. She sees cheese. 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 Did I do eleven? Anyway, she sees cheese. Good. So, so there we go. So those are really fun ones that you can do. There's loads of tongue twisters out there. So make sure you get all of your mouth working, ready to do this. So now what we're going to do is back to what I said at the beginning. We'll look at accents. So if you're playing character and you want to do a certain accent, maybe the script says you need to have an accent. Uh, maybe it's set in America or it's set in somewhere else and you need to do an accent. Or if you just feel that that character that you're playing should have an accent, it's really good to work on different accents that you can do. And the easiest way to do this is to what to create your own hook. Um, we call these hooks. What is a hook? Basically, it's what l latches you into getting into that accent. So something that is going to make you hook onto how to talk in that accent. For example, it could be a famous phrase or it could be um, a famous person that you know has this accent and you pick up on one of their little catchphrases and that gets you into that accent or a word i'm going to use an example so for example uh let's go with australian australian is one of my favorite accents and the hook that i use in order to get into that accent is that very typical uh, stereotypical phrase g'day mate how's it going now that's the australian accent some people might question it, but that's how I get into my Australian accent. So you've got your good day, mate. How's it going? You are right? Great. And then you can carry on talking like that because you've started to get your body and your mouth to talk in that way. And an Australian accent is quite, in my opinion, quite singy -songy. Uh, you could listen to neighbours, you could listen to um, anybody on the internet that's Australian and get into their accent like that. Um, and the best thing, I think, is to listen to key words and how, like words, that's a really good one. Key words, they go, uh, on that word. So key words as to how they speak. 
So the hook for the Australian accent for me, everyone is going to be slightly different. The hook for Australian accent for me is, G'day, mate. How's it going? Uh, so we could look at, for example, um, let's look at a Welsh accent, which is the accent that I use in Paddington at the moment. Obviously, you all know David. David's got a Welsh accent, so you can listen to him, pick up on how he says things, um, and then that's how you might get into that accent. My personal favourite um, hook for a Welsh accent um, is, all right, how's it going? What's occurring? What's occurring? And that's kind of a, a South Walian accent. And then that's how I start talking in that South Walian accent, a kind of a Barry accent. That's where I lived near Barry when I was growing up. So I had a lot of friends that spoke like this. And that is the Welsh accent for down near Barry. That's what's occurring there. So what's occurring could be your hook of how you get into that Welsh accent. Or it could be one of my favourite, uh, another Welsh one, is I go, um, that's amazing. That's amazing, that is. That's fabulous. What a fabulous thing to do. Did you know that that is absolutely fabulous? Fabulous is a great word. Fabulous. Try fabulous. Fabulous. So those are a couple. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to do a little game and you can do this game with your friends, your family, have a little practice, uh, pick whatever you want. I'm going, to sh I'm going to pick an accent. I'm going to do a couple of lines of it. You get a chance to guess if you can get it right and we'll see how many you get right. But a great game to try with your friends and family. So here we go. Um, so the first one, okay, we're going to talk like this, right? So this one, I've actually lived in this place and it's a great place to live. So if you ever get a chance to visit, I would say go visit this place. Can anybody guess what accent I'm trying to do? Liverpool, hopefully you got that right. Liverpool, that one was. Okay, here we go. So. I would say that one would say that when you're talking like this, some people think that you may sound a little bit like the Queen. <laughs> this is what we call RP, which actually stands for Received Pronunciation. It's basically posh. So if you said posh or RP, then you got it right. There you go. That was that one. Right, our next one. Um, all right, when I, when I do this accent, I know I will start off with all right. All right, how are you going? Our oh, kids, oh, that sounds great. That I'm just going to go down the road to the shops. Um, does that sound all right to you? Uh, any guesses? It was a very dodgy Birmingham. <laughs> Birmingham. <laughs> right, there we go. Next one. Okay, so this is actually where I live at the moment. Uh, here we go. Um, we <laughs> Uh, I can't do it. I'm doing a different accent. Um, we'll forget that one. We'll do this one for now. I'll go back to it. Uh, this one is, we've already sort of done it. Um, all right, what's, a, what's occurring? I've, I've lost it now. I've lost all my accent. What's occurring? I'm going down, um, all right. I'm doing our Liverpool now. <gasps> I've lost the plot. I was trying to do Welsh. I'm running out of time. Okay, we'll try a different one. Try a different one. Start again. <laughs> this is going really well. This game is really hard. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll do this one. There's been a matter down at the shop, and I'm going to. <laughs> it was an attempt at Scottish. I'm not very good at Scottish. We'll do this one. Good eye, mate. How's it going? I'm going to pop a little few shrimps on the barbie. How does that sound? Yes, Australian, Australian. Um, get out of my pub. I'm telling you, this is the last. <laughs> They all start to sound a bit the same. The one I didn't do was Somerset, which is where I live, or West Country. So I'd, I'd sort of say, um, Bristol. Is there any tour name Bristol? We tell it better like that, don't you, down in Bristol? And that's sort of near where I live. And that's how we do it in Bristol, like that. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys might be a little bit better at that than I was. I maybe should have rehearsed that. Anyway. These are all the things that I love to do. These are good for my heart because they make me laugh and it makes me smile and I love challenging myself. So I'm setting you guys the challenge to go out there, do as many accents as you can, write them down, ask people to guess what they are and just get those hooks, get into those accents, try and do them um, like I did. Hopefully you'll do better than I did. Everybody stay safe. Lovely to see you all. 
Take care and I'll speak to you all very soon.